this is a response video for uh, KT. Uh, there was about she asked for uh, video responses to her video. It was done in silence for uh, the uh, the seventeenth uh, annual day of silence in support of uh, uh, LGBTQ uh, community. This sort of the lesbian, lesbian, the whole uh, lesbian bisexual. Uh, uh, transgender and queer group. That's that's there's a whole community out there like that, and they're uh, sort of milling around now, and they have they're behind a lot of the anti-bullying stuff. And uh, I kind of get what you're doing, but uh, since you asked for the opinion, I'm gonna give you an honest opinion. Uh, and it's based on my experience that. Uh, so let me first off give you my experience, and then we'll, we'll go into the whole bit about uh, the support of the community and uh, that bullying, bullying based on uh, sexual orientation has to stop. You know, I, I find this uh, a lot of the stuff that's going on now. This isn't anything new, but it's a lot of uh, whining, whining basically. Uh, I've been basically on the outs of society since grade one. From grade one on I was separated from the from the main class and put into special classes and even but that didn't sort of stop me from doing what I wanted to do and even now uh, I'm a researcher, I'm a scientist so being singled out as a special person or a special kid didn't stop me from doing what I wanted to do in life. What it did do is make school a living hell for me. Uh, basically, uh, in elementary school, I was the kid who the teacher had a force. Uh, some of the kids who, uh, particularly the girls who had a lot of extra Valentine's cards, the only way I got a Valentine card is if the teacher forced and asked some of these other kids to give me uh, one or two cards, you know, a, a couple pity cards on Valentine's. Basically, I was, I was Charlie Brown, if you want to use that reference there. Uh, I, did, I did a lot of things that I wasn't supposed to do in terms of the way standard society thinks. Uh, I liked... Uh, hanging out with the girls and skipping rope and as a result of that I got beat up almost every single day in school. Uh, I had teachers who <laughs> you know believed one way and when I would speak out against what they were thinking and the way they believed uh, they encouraged kids once again to beat me up after you know during recess they were sort of encouraged to go in uh, and sort of Teach me, uh, and the 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 the, the, the uh, was it the um, squeaky wheel wheel always gets greased. In other words, they they come up with this uh, this these uh, sort of these conformity t uh, the slogans and jargons that you know the, the nail that stands low gets hammered down or whatever, you know, all, all that type of stuff, and. What I found, and this is the way I was able to deal with things, is that it didn't matter who the person was. It's how you treat other people rather than they treat you. And once I understood this, I mean, and there were there were times in in in, in high in junior high and in elementary school where I felt like one of those kids I, that if I had the opportunity and I had the ability, I maybe would have gone in and blown up the entire school. Uh, that's how bad it got. I was I was always smaller than every, all the other kids. I was always smaller than the other boys. Uh, uh, I wasn't into sports. I'm still not into sports the way most guys are. I'm I'm a I'm a, I'm a major geek. I'm a major nerd. Uh, so uh, uh, things in my in my life really haven't changed from when I was younger. Uh, and it, it, I've learned that you can't care about what other people are thinking about you. Your announcement as to who you support and who you are, in terms of going out and announce that you're gay or whatever you are, uh, 
really uh, is not going to change how other people perceive you or think about you. The people who hate you will still hate you. The people who don't want to be your friends will still not want to be your friends. I mean, uh, uh, you know, that, that's that's the way things are, and you can't force somebody to change their mind. The only one thing you can change is your outlook and your perspective on things, and be happy with who you are and the choices that you've made in life. And the thing is, the thing is, and I say that with with a a, a degree or or an, or an asterisk because there's a degree there that um, you're not going to be happy every day of your life and there are going to be certain day, time, days, times, weeks, months, and even years where there's a lot of shit that comes into your life and you're going to have to f find a way to get through it. Because, you know, if you look at, and then most people haven't really thought about this, if you think about death, and I certainly thought about death from when I was really young. I, I, you know, I saw it when I was young, when my, my, un my uncles died when I was about, uh, within third grade, I saw my uncle die. And I was, I said, I was the type of kid, I never did what I was told to do anyways. I've, I, I never really followed the rules. I always did what I wanted to do and kind of snuck up to the room where he was in the hospital and all everyone was going up gearing around. Saw the monitors. I saw the monitors go flat, and I saw him lying there in the bed. And then realized that there was something serious going on. Snuck back down, and no one knew I had actually snuck upstairs to see him in the hospital when he was dying. Um. And then when I was 16, I had uh, my own sort of near-death experience where I had my wisdom teeth out and. Um, the result was I have a bleeding problem and they weren't able to close, they weren't able to stop the bleeding on the operating table from my wisdom teeth and uh, they sort of got it stopped, sent me home, I went back that night in, the, in an ambulance, uh, passed out from lack of blood and spent about a week in the hospital after that. After that, that was sort of my 16th, my 16th year, my 16th birthday, uh, I spent uh, a good five years having every single night uh, dreams of death and that kind of it kind of warps you as a kid you know if you're that young and you're having dreams of death every single night uh, that kind of warps your perspective on things and uh, well anyway I, I, I wouldn't say I turned out normal I, I'm kind of abnormal still I'm still as a, I'm on in the soup the super nerd type of things I'm kind of like Sheldon Cooper on uh, Big Bang Theory well, that's kind of uh, why I've got the title Big Bang Theory, uh, Big Bang Theory RL, uh, because uh, I'm sort it's sort of the real life version of uh, the Big Bang Theory on on CBS. Uh, what was I going to say? Well, that really kind of sort of made things okay for me. After a while, I realized that I could still have a good life, even though I wasn't popular. Even though it, 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 things had gotten to the point where, where people stopped caring about what I did, I, I had none low so self-esteem in terms of in terms of the, the, the view of that. I was at a, at a social position where I had no social position, and I real at, at at the point where I realized I had no social social position that no one cared what I did or didn't do. I was more or less an invisible person. They gave me the freedom to do whatever I want because it didn't matter. No, no one was going to care what I did one way or the other. And so that's when I started off on my own directions, and things were, were great after that. Well, no, they, I had my ups and downs. You still can't do that. But they improved as compared to what they were before. And so, so I, I, th I think the best way to, if, you, if, if the interest is in the suicides, and this is where um, I see th they have the movie Bully, and they talk about these issues about the the, the sui suicides that are come from bullying. And what they don't, a lot of people don't realize is that uh, you go, you can go take a look at this movie called Sydney White with um, with what's her name, Amanda Bynes in it, and, and you'll see that it's a remake. And go look at it's a remake of not 
Seven White and the, uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, but it's actually a remake of the Revenge of the Nerds, and there's three parts of the Revenge of the Nerds. And you can find Revenge of the Nerds' dad in Lizzie McGuire. Um, so that would be a sort of a reference to see how things kind of pan out over the, over the years. And what you'll see is that the same bullying that went on in the 80s is still going on now. And it's the same old thing over and over and over again. The only way you're going to stop the bullying is not to necessarily stop the bullying, but stop people from be feeling as if they're victims. And by saying to people that it's not fair people don't accept you for who you are, you're making a person a victim because you're saying, well, you're so, I'm so sorry you're a victim because people aren't accepting you for who you are. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what other people think you are. It doesn't matter, you know, what someone else thinks of me. It, it only matters what you think of you. And so what I've done, and, if, uh, and I invite you to do this because you are on YouTube, I set up a list called Geekolia. It's in the, uh, it's on my first front page channel there. There's a list to it on Facebook, and there's also uh, one on, uh, on, you, on YouTube. There's a, there's a playlist there. It... The way we're going to stop cyber, uh, the, the effects of cyberbullying, the suicides, is these people who are at the point of committing suicide feel isolated and alone. They don't think or feel that anyone else un out, out there understands the way they feel. And there are people out, uh, who do understand that. There are people who have gone through bullying, like myself, who are nerds, who are geeks, who are this and who are that, and have never fit in properly with society. And if they can know about these lists and places to hang out where they can say, yeah, um, this is what I'm experiencing, and someone has to stand up on the internet like this and say, this was my experience, but I've gotten through it, and if you need to talk, I'm here to talk. You know, post a video, say whatever you want to say, uh, Let's get it out there, and that's what the ge list Geekle is for. This is what the, f the the Facebook page is for, so that uh, if other kids who are going out, the people who are, are called the nerdlings or the first outings, when they're sort of getting into that uh, grade six, grade seven, grade eight stage, where the social standings and who you are in society matters, if you're left out of that ranking or knocked out of the ranking, as some people ha end up happening to, it happens to people like that, they have a place to go. They, they know there is a place to go. They say, ah, here's the nerds list because I see it's on the internet. I, I don't hide that I'm a, I'm a, geek, a, a geek and a nerd. Uh, the, uh, this is to a point that uh, you'll see on my uh, on the list there, on the Geek Elite list, uh, the playlist, uh, I actually, uh, at the beginning of uh, I think I was in the beginning of the year, around February, yeah, February, March, that time frame there, is I, uh, <laughs> I uh, did a uh, video contest on YouTube with, uh, with a beauty contest for L'Oreal, and I titled The Beauty and the Geek. Uh, you, you gotta, you know, if you can't have an attitude the way, you know, that, that you're okay with who you are, and this is what we have to get the people who uh, are feeling bullied to this stage, then bullying will always affect them. If they can get it to a stage where uh, bullying to them no longer matters, in other words, they can pull themselves out from being a victim, then the bully has no target. Because th this, this kid who always is being bullied doesn't care. It doesn't matter what you say, it doesn't matter wh uh, about talking to the person. You know, that's, you know, if you say something to me, it's not going to bother me because I don't care. I don't care what you think of me. This, this is, and this is sort of like the whole point here. I, am, I, you know, there's no reason why a person who thinks of me in, in, in a derogatory manner uh, has to like me. And as a matter of fact, I may not like them. You know, uh, I mean, my preference in terms of, of who I hang out with. Uh, because I am not a sexually oriented person, uh, I like most guys. Uh, I don't care about sexuality at all. Most guys behave in, in uh, very nasty in 
negative manner. I don't like that. So my comfort zone is with girls. It doesn't mean anything in terms of gender-wise for me. It has no bearing on what I like and what I don't like. It's just I'm not a nasty, sexually oriented person. That's, that's the way I am. And most guys aren't supposed to be like that. And so, while other people may have thoughts and connotations about this, it doesn't bother me because I'm comfortable with who I am. And this is sort of the message that has to get out there to anyone who's feeling like this, regardless of where they're going, where they're going to or coming from, whether it's nerd, gay, geek, whatever, whatever it is. If they can get to a point where they're comfortable with themselves, or at least know there are people like them around, the effects of bullying can be uh, eliminated. And as for my, so if you if you're serious about stopping the suicides, and I've said this before, so this is going to be saying it again. Go on to the list, the Geekly list, on the front of my, uh, the, uh, on my channel page. Go to the the Facebook page, uh, like it, pass this around to your friends. Give me a video that I can post on there. Stand up and say, "I am whatever you are. I've been bullied." And if you need to talk, post here with me. Right? The more of us on YouTube, because there are a lot of geeks and nerds and whatever all these guys, there's a lot of us out here on YouTube. So there's a lot of people who could be standing up and saying to the, and, and providing a, a visible place for people who are feeling bullied for the first time to go, ah, I'm not alone. There's a person that, there, there are people like there who are with me. Who are like who are, who are like what I am, and I can go over there and hang out with them for a bit if I'm feeling alone. So if it's up to you. I don't know what you're gonna do, how you're gonna post this or whatever. I don't care whether you do or don't post this. I think this sort of needs to needed to be said. This is gonna be on my channel. Uh, it's gonna be in the Geek OE list as well as the comments Y West list. So, anyways, uh, I hope things go well for you. I don't know what your situation is. So, uh, have a good one. Uh, this is not going to affect my, uh, I'm subscribed to you. This is not going to affect my security subscription at all. I'm not going to unsubscribe. It doesn't, it, it, your choices are your choices, and uh, I wish you the best of luck uh, with what, whatever you end up doing uh, in the future anyways, and whatever your choices are going to be. All right, take it easy.